Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download a data pack that adds a health indicator into your game. The health indications data pack does exactly what it says it does. It showcases the health of other players and mobs. With this data pack enabled, if you hit a mob, you'll see that a health bar pops up. The more you hit them, you'll see the squares of health go down. Not only that, but you'll see how much damage you're doing to the mob. If I switch my weapon to an iron axe, it now says 9 of the mob's hearts are being taken away, so the axe is doing more damage. If you're not a big fan of the way the health bar looks though, don't worry as this data pack lets you can forget its appearance. It'll also allow you to tweak a few of the data packs or the features. You'll be able to see the configuration menu by opening the chat and typing in Function, Health Indications, Options. There you'll see you can turn off damage indicators completely or alter their settings if you want them enabled. You can toggle where the damage indicators pop up for players. You can make it so the damage indicator symbol stays stationary instead of moving upwards. Or you can turn on the custom symbol for it which will show up as a heart. Below the damage indicators options you'll also see the health bar options. You can toggle whether the health bar shows up for players, enable predictive syncing which will sync health bars to the entities a lot more accurately, or you can also enable the custom texture for the health bar. The custom texture looks like this and when you hit a mob you can see the bar progressively go down. Once you've enabled custom textures in the configurations menu you'll now be able to see another option labeled status effects. If you enable that option you'll be able to see what effects a mob has. For example, if I throw a potion of weakness at a mob and then go near it, it'll show weakness symbol next to the health bar. These features are super handy, so we definitely recommend downloading this data pack and trying it out for yourself. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says data pack download and click it, then press continue to be redirected to this CurseForge page. Once you're there, you should automatically be on the files tab, so all you have to do is scroll down and find the version you want to download the data pack for. I'll be downloading it for 1.18.2, so I'll click on the download arrow. Then all I have to do is wait a couple seconds for the file to download. Since the data pack is now downloaded, we also have the option of downloading the resource pack. To do that, you want to go back to the official download page and click on resource pack download. Press continue and you'll once again be redirected to a CurseForge download page. There you just want to click on the main file download button as that's the most recent version of the resource pack. Wait a couple seconds once more and the resource pack file should download. To make the next step easier, we recommend you move both zips to a place where you can easily access, for example your desktop. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. Since I downloaded the data pack for 1.18.2, my server is also set to 1.18.2. If you downloaded the data pack for another version though, make sure the server version is the same. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to upload the the data pack onto a world you've already created. This data pack doesn't require you to make a new world, but if you're also interested in that, I'll be showing you how to create a brand new world with the data pack enabled after. Firstly, what you're going to do is head to the Files tab. Click on the World folder and then the Data Packs folder. Here is where you're going to drag the Health Indications Data Pack zip you downloaded at the beginning of the video. And that's it! The Data Pack is uploaded onto your world. However, if you're interested in creating a brand new world with the Data Pack enabled, you're going to want to head to the Worlds tab. Here's where you're going to create a brand new world. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual. Just make sure the world name doesn't have spaces or special characters. However below you'll also see a button labeled upload data packs. Simply click the select files button and then navigate to the area you save the health indications data pack zip to. Once you've found it press open and then create world. It'll take a second for the files to upload but when that's done you should go into the files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the data packs folder. If you see the data pack zip inside it means you've followed these steps correctly. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, we have to make sure the resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the Files tab. Then open up the server.properties file and look for the line saying Resource Pack. 
After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required resource pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like, you can use our link. It'll be in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hot links, and then put your own hot link into the server.properties file. Before continuing, make sure to press save file to confirm the changes, and then all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by heading to the dashboard and copying the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. When you join the server, you'll be prompted with this pop-up asking if you want to download and install the required texture pack. We recommend pressing yes, so every time you join the server in the future, it'll be automatically enabled. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.